everyone, it's Samantha, and today we're talking about nail polish again. So I showed you in my last video, I have a massive haul of nail polish. I've got close to like 80 bottles of nail polish, but I was running into a problem where I'd get colors that were really close together. They were basically almost duplicates, so I really needed a way to organize my colors, and I decided to do nail polish swatches. So here is my nail polish swatch collection. I want to just walk you through how I set these up and how I use them. Since having these nail polish swatches, I hardly have to buy nail polish because most colors are very similar to what I already have. So I just look at my swatches and I go, oh, I have a color close enough to that. It has saved me a lot of money because I love buying nail polish and it's just saved me so much money. It also saves me time because when I go and I want to paint my nails, I can look through the swatches rather than trying to pull out all the bottles and look at the bottles, try to decide what color I want to paint my nails. Super easy. I can see all the colors swatched out here. It just makes my nail polish process super duper easy. And like I said, being pregnant, I have not been painting my nails just to be safe because I know there's chemicals in nail polish but I am totally itching to paint my nails again. And when I get the urge, I go ahead and I just look at the nail polish swatches and it makes me happy just seeing all the colors together. I made these nail polish swatches with these little clear nail template thingamabobs. Don't know exactly what these are called, but I will link to these on, I just bought them on Amazon and I got the clear ones so that I could paint the underside of these. So the underside is actually the side that's painted and this top part is not painted. And I did that for a couple of reasons. The main reason is that way I don't scratch off the top part when I'm like pulling these out and looking at them, the top part is protected and the underside is the part you have to watch out for, but that part doesn't hit anything because it is on the inside pretty much. So that was one main reason. The other reason was I don't have to top coat it because this top part's already shiny. So I just painted two coats of nail polish on each one of these things and then it acts like a top coat having that clear side um, facing up. That just saved me a step painting them and it also, you know, is better for protecting the little nail polish swatches. So I've got one for each of my nail polishes. To keep them straight, I used my label machine and made some labels. I actually have a shipping label printer, so I printed them on big shipping label stickers and then cut them down. So they're not exactly even, but that's okay. It just saved me time just trying to print them all at once. You could definitely do like label paper, run it through your printer and print all of them at once. And I just stuck those on there. So all of my little nail polish swatches are labeled. I put them in rainbow order so that I could just go to a certain section and say, I wanted to paint my nails pink. I have all my pinks lined up and I can just look through just the pinks and it just makes it a little bit easier for me. I tied these all up on some twine and I can untie this and tie it back if I wanna add any of the swatches to here, if I buy new nail polish. But honestly, since I've done this, I have hardly bought any new nail polish. So if you're like me and you have a bunch of nail polish, this is such a great idea to keep your nail polishes straight. I just wanted to share that with you because it's something that I found has been really, really useful for me. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you are a nail polish lover like I am, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. So have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.